What is up, Priest Planet? It is the Tarot Priest. I'm back to do another pick a card reading for you guys. So for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to the planet where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, the truth. This is a highly requested video that I get throughout the comments, your emails, Instagram messages. You guys want to know who will you marry? So in today's pick a card reading, I'm going to be looking at who you will marry featuring the banana bag. What I'm going to be doing is pulling letters from the first name and last name for each group. So once you guys pick your deck, I will be looking at a couple of letters in their first name and their last name just to narrow it down and have fun with this pick a card reading. Also, I'm going to be looking at which zodiac sign they are using the spinner. And then I'll be looking at what is most attractive about the person that you're going to be marrying. So in today's pick a card reading, it's going to be hectic. I'm going to be pulling so much energy and I'm going to also be looking at different characteristic traits, personality of the person that you will marry. If you guys are interested in booking a personal session with me or looking to do life coaching or interested in learning tarot, you guys can find all that information in the description box below or any other additional information that you guys might be seeking or have questions about you guys can find that in my description box below again thank you guys all for the support the love the comments the likes and the emails that i'm receiving based on these videos once again i'm honored to be able to guide you guys along your journey and help you gain clarity in this case on who you will marry so let's get started we have four different heart stones that you guys can choose from We have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. All right, let's get into today's pick a card reading. Who will you marry? All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and who you will marry. Don't forget to comment down below. All right, so let's first look at their zodiac sign. So I'm gonna spin and see exactly what zodiac sign is in the chart of the person that you will marry. This could be their moon, their rising, or their sun sign. So basically, whatever it lands on, this is going to be the zodiac sign that they are currently or is in their chart, again, their moon, rising, or their sun sign. So for group number one, guys, please help me in figuring out what zodiac sign will group number one marry. Earth. All right, so whoever you guys marry is probably going to be an earth sign. That's going to be Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. So that's good to know. All right, so we have the earth. Now let's see what you will be most attracted to about this person. Group number one, Spirit, please give us some guidance on what will group number one be most attracted to with the person they decide to marry. Their energy. Perfect. So we have their energy and earth. So we have some more information about this person. All right, we'll go to the banana bag last in finding what two letters are in their first name and what two letters are in their last name. Let's go ahead and look at this reading and see what we have for who you will marry. All right, deck number one. So whoever you guys will marry will be passionate. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So this person is going to be a very passionate person, could be intimately, or they could be passionate about what it is that they love doing. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer, do what feels right. So with this person, you will already know that this is the person that you feel like you should marry. There won't be any questions, there won't be any doubts. You will know that this is the person you should marry based on the passion that they have, the passion you guys have, but most importantly, the passion that they have for you. All right, prosperity. So whoever you guys marry will be prosperous. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, yeah, hell yeah. So they're gonna be prosperous. So a gift of money is on the way, income is increasing, finances with love. So this person really takes care of their finances. They could be in finance. Um, again, with this reading, guys, whatever I pick up, I'm gonna give to you guys because there's so many of you that are choosing different decks. I wanna make sure that I'm being able to really tap into the messages that are for everybody so again take this how it resonates so, so this person can be in finances being in finance analytics or a financial advisor an accountant they could work with money all right 
If not, they are very prosperous. Again, prosperity is not just going to be money. It could be their energy. Again, because you are attracted to their energy, it could be very contagious. So this person could have a very prosperous energy by the way they dress. They could just simply look like money imagination so you guys might start dreaming about this person again since you guys are on this reading i wouldn't be surprised because you are manifesting this person as you're listening to the reading so with imagination envision a new reality give yourself permission to dream believe in unlimited potential so this person could be an entrepreneur for a few of them only because i have prosperity and imagination so this person loves to dream they're a dreamer and they believe in creating their own reality uh, they do believe that they're very powerful as well but for the most part i feel like you guys will start dreaming about this person or imagining it this person could also have a childlike perspective on life as far as going after their dreams or feeling like the sky is the limit flow so yeah they like to go with the flow uh they like to release expectations this person might not mention marriage right off of the gate only because they prefer to go with the flow rather than think about the long term. So a lot of you guys might ask the question, do you want to get married? This person may not know whether or not they want to get married simply because they're the type of person that goes with the flow, which is not necessarily bad. That doesn't mean they're not into commitment, but the person that you will marry will go with the flow and be more open to the possibilities of where this relationship can go. So they won't have expectations, which is really cool because there's going to be a sense of freedom with the relationship. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So with the Ten of Pentacles, again, this person could be very financially stable. The Ten of Pentacles is about having the fullest foundation when it comes to finances. This is the highest amount of abundance that this person could have. They have a lot of money. <laughs> Um, and if they don't, they're certainly on their way to money or they care a lot about abundance and they have a lot of abundance energy on their life. So they celebrate everything they achieve. They do, they are the best at what they do. So if they're at a current job or they're at a corporate job, they're the best. Everybody knows this person. They've probably been employee of the month. They're a director, they're a leader. They have been rewarded for the achievements. They could be a salesperson, highest in their sales. They're very passionate about what they do. They're passionate about making money, not from a greedy way, but understanding that they deserve prosperity. So this person is gonna be very stable, probably have their own house in their own car, very independent, and uh, will probably take care of you or you guys together will have uh, a lot of money and abundance together. So whoever this person is that you guys are going to marry is financially stable. The thinking man. So yeah, this person, again, they are pretty intelligent. They know what the hell they're doing. Again, they're the best at what they do. They go with the flow. And I feel like their energy is what brings so much prosperity. They have a lot of good energy around money. Um, just as I'm tapping into the energy of this person, I feel great about money. And so again, it's not from a greedy way. It's not from a hoarding way. They just are very smart and intelligent. Very analytical. And again, it's crazy because I don't look at this. You guys see me spin. This is pentacle energy, which is earth energy, which makes sense. Again, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus in their chart. But this person is pretty grounded. They're an earth sign. So they have a plan. They execute the plan and they really don't stop until they achieve and they do achieve. They're very passionate about the things that they do and they're very smart and intelligent, but they do have a great energy of prosperity, which I feel like is going to attract you to this person. So again, I'm not surprised that there's so much money here because that's, that's kind of what earth zodiac element embodies is finance and foundation. All right, let's see what else we have here. Blossoming abundance, what the heck? Oh my God. Again, guys, I just randomly shuffle these cards and they fall where they fall. I, I don't just pick them out. So this person is pretty wealthy or on their way to wealth. I don't want you guys to meet someone and be like, well, are you wealthy? Because if not, you're not my husband. I don't want you guys to be like so forceful with that. But this person has a lot of abundance around them. Like whatever the hell type of energy they have when they step into the room 
they just smell and look like abundance and money. And remember, abundance doesn't just have to be finances. They're very financially stable. They're a leader and they're smart and they have great energy. So their energy of abundance, again, like I mentioned to you guys in my other videos, abundance and money is a currency, which is a current. A current is energy. So it's not surprising that you would be attracted to this person based off their energy because you won't see their money right away. I don't feel like this is someone who's flashy. Nah, mm -mm. I don't think they're flashy. I just think they're smart with their money, but they have abundance energy. All right, their spirit is the dragonfly. Truth transcends illusion. So they are about truth. They are about logic, analytics. I'm not surprised with earth signs. Very analytical, very thoughtful. They think out things, they plan out things. However, they are, they do go with the flow, but the things that they're passionate about, they're very intricate about them. And the dragonfly is also a free spirit. So they do have a balance, like there's logic in their spirit, which is great together. And so they do, believe in truth and they could have a spiritual side when it comes to believing in the truth from their perspective this this is the type of person that you can't just convince them of things they they're pretty smart you can't um convince them of things that are bs they're pretty knowledgeable in a lot of things this person also i don't feel like is religious but has studied multiple like they know they know what is out there and they base their beliefs based on truth, especially with the dragonfly spirit. Okay, let's look more into this, the lover's card. So they are romantic, that's great. Whoever you guys are dating is gonna be romantic, the lovers. Um, they also could have Gemini in their chart. I know I picked the earth sign, but remember there's rising moon and sun. So they could have Gemini in their chart or be a Gemini, but they are a lover. They love love. This person, I feel like, wants to take care of their person. They want to take care of you. They want to love you. Um, they have an overwhelming amount of love. It could even come from a place of, I keep hearing Beethoven or like Romeo and Juliet. This person still loves romance, still loves love. And I think it's because they're such a logical person that love amazes them because love isn't logical so they're intrigued by love two of wands decision so again they're very passionate i think they have multiple things going on and they could have side projects as well that they do uh, this person does again have a lot of passion with the two of wands here and has multiple options when it comes to people as well they're not a player but a lot of people see their value. Yeah. The decadent, so abruption. So with this card, I also feel as if they've been through a lot. They're really good at overcoming things. They go with the flow for the most part. But with this card, it tells me that I feel like they're more of a planner and sometimes things happen and they're not exactly sure how to maneuver them. So when life throws them a curveball, you might see them kind of juggle decisions because they're, they're an overthinker. All right, let's see what else we got here. Three of pentacles, so yeah, more pentacle energy. Uh, they do have a team that assists them and I feel like they're the decision maker of whatever they do, again, in their company or their career. The lover's card again. So they're definitely, like, I feel like when you guys meet, they're just as passionate about love as they are about their work. They're definitely lovers at heart and they love romance. The fairy tale, they're still into the fairy tale aspect. And even with this person, they're looking into the mirror. There's a palace behind them. It's almost like they want to be able to give the person they love what they have. So why they work so hard is for the person and their family, like the person they love and their family. King of Cups, yeah. They want children if they don't already have children. Uh, they, they are a great father. They take pride in fatherhood or a great mother. They take, and I only say father because the King of Cups is masculine energy. So even if you're thinking about a woman and who you will marry, because I don't want to count you guys out, 
as far as the woman perspective, they are they could be a single mom that's taking care of their children and they have prosperity as far as um, a man who provides. So they have the energy of the masculine side of providing for their uh, children. So they do, are, they are passionate. They're very family oriented. They love family. Um, they take pride in it. It's like they work so hard so they can leave behind money for their children's grandchildren. That, that's the way that they think. Like they're constantly thinking in the future about making sure that their family is good. That's why they work so hard. Six of Cups, yeah. So they could have kids or definitely want kids. If you guys are questioning someone about getting married, I hopefully this is confirmation. This person has children. For some of you guys, this person already has children or really wants children. Like they're really big into family. King of Swords, they're a leader. This person's very dominant. Uh, they're a leader, but they have so many great qualities about them with the earth. They're very balanced, but they're a lover. They're a family-oriented type of person. They have a lot of passion for what they do, a lot of passion for the family. The King of Swords is a visionary, someone who has authority or authoritative figure. So they could also work in anything that has to do with the justice or the law or the government. Um, they could be an attorney, doctor, lawyer, a paralegal, anything that has to do with the justice system or the law, they could be in that as well. And whatever they do, they make decisions. Ace of Swords, yeah. So they have a unique perspective. They're very logical, very like headstrong as far as making decisions, really good with perspective. They know how to get what they want. They're very driven to get what they want as well. All right, so next we have the Death card. So they could be have Scorpio in their chart. We do have the Decadence card and the Death card. So they could have Scorpio in their chart as well. Um, now with this death card, I feel like they have been through some things with the decadence and the death. They could have even, this person could also be divorced, um, or have went through a lot of things or endings or lost a lot of people in their life. Again, I'm just going off of whatever it is I'm picking up on. So they definitely could have went through a lot of things. Uh, they have a different perspective on life. They've grown very wise. Again, they're a leader. And then we have the tower card again. So I just feel like whoever this person is, they've been through a lot, but this is also Scorpio energy. They've been through a lot. I feel like they could possibly be divorced or have lost a lot or their family. They're, they've been through some things, uh, which makes them who they are today. So they take pride. It's like, the things that they feel like they failed at, they make up for with the finances. That's why they're so driven financially. So yeah, this is deck number one. Let's look at a couple initials. So I'm just gonna pull a couple initials. Uh, one of these letters or both of these letters is gonna be in the first name of the person that you marry. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing because this is crazy. All right, this is crazy. All right, spirit, guide me, use me as a vessel to get this message across to group number one. And who will they marry? Give me two letters um, that could be in the first name of the person they're going to marry. All right. The first letter is I. So they could have I in their first name or their last name. Let's see one more letter for their first name, for their first name, for group number one. The people who have chosen group number one, give me another letter. All right. Not looking. A. So two of these letters can be in their first name. We have A and I. Now let's look at their last name. All right, spirit, two letters for the last name of the person group number one will marry. Not looking. All right, let's just grab these two. T and O. All right, so these letters are gonna be intricate to whoever you guys decide to marry. We have the I and the A for the first name. Um, and then we also have the T and the O for the last name and the person that you will marry. Wow, that was really, that's really cool. So overall, this person is pretty freaking awesome. They're mostly a leader, very passionate about work, family, and love, and taking care of the person that they are with. They also have been able to transcend. They've been through a lot of things with the tower moment. So they do have a history or past of things that they have overcome. So they do have an overcoming spirit. Um, they 
have been able to create a reality based on imagination. You guys also might dream about this person. Uh, but for the most part, you are attracted to their energy and they have AI in their first name and they have TO in their last name. So if you guys chose deck number one, I am super excited to see what you guys have to say about the person that you're gonna marry. And we'll see if I hit it on the nail with this one. Let's move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and who you will marry. So first we're gonna start off with the spinners. Let's look at the zodiac sign of the person that you will marry. Remember, zodiac signs work with the rising sun and moon, so this could be in any of their chart. All right, so let's look at deck number two, Spirit. Can you give us the zodiac sign for the person that deck number two will be marrying? Water. All right, so we have a water sign. All right, all right, Spirit, what will deck number two be most attracted to with the person they decide to marry? Ambition. All right, so we have water and ambition. Then I will be looking at the banana. <laughs> then I will be looking through the banana bag to find out which two letters are in the first name and which two letters are in the last name. So we're gonna save that for last and let's move on to your guys' person. So who will deck number two marry? Soulmate, you guys will marry your soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. You guys could have already dreamed about this person could have already met this person but for the most part soulmate attraction is instant it's like you've known this person forever you have so much chemistry it's like you guys have went to school together that's what a soulmate is going to be like for you beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection so yes whoever your soulmate is is going to reflect some of the same similarities that you have so don't be surprised if i go through this reading and a lot of these qualities are qualities that you guys embody all right let's move forward polarity so there will be a subject to balance here you guys might be opposites with polarity so opposites are also yin and yang energy um, I know this says soulmate, but this could also be a twin flame. So this could be somebody that you guys have already met. Uh, I feel strongly about that for a few of you guys. But again, since this is about who you will marry, I'm going to take precaution and allowing you to figure out what resonates with you. Now, the polarity, there's a dark side and a light side. So this is about coming together as a balance. So this person may have some flaws or things that you're not exactly excited about, but there's a sense of balance between you guys rebirth so this person has went through a rebirth again i'm feeling that this might be someone you guys already currently know but for those of you who feel like it's not we are going to look at both perspectives so whoever this person is has went through a rebirth they completely changed um they're not who they used to be so if they were a player or if they were just like not ready to settle down they're ready to settle down and have marriage um they also believe uh they could have had a rebirth spiritually as well they also have a spiritual belief that they feel strongly about. All right, Knight of Wands, make decisions without pressure. So this person is very passionate, again, uh, about making decisions. They take action in whatever it is that they do. Uh, they don't spend very much time waiting or dwelling on things. They do move forward very quickly with making decisions about the things that they want and they go after what it is that they want. Six of Swords, I know that peaceful times will come. Again, the Six of Swords is usually past energy. So again, this could be somebody that you guys already met. I feel like it's now becoming more and more evidently clear that this is someone that you guys already know, that you guys have been thinking about marriage or have been engaged to or have thought about marriage with. Also, if not for you guys that are, you know, this is not the, of someone that you already know, this person you have a past life connection with since you guys are soulmates. There is a past life connection again. So when you meet this person, it's gonna be like meeting a best friend. The world. So this person might love to travel or they might not be in the same place as you guys. So again, for a lot of you guys, I tell you that if you guys are looking to meet somebody new, you being a hermit inside your house is not going to magically put this person in your living room like go out there travel i feel like this person does not live near you for a few of you guys um if this is someone new they do not live near you they do travel they could even be in another country 
Um, but for the most part, I feel like you might meet them traveling and uh, they're very big into traveling and exploring. They like to explore. Angel of Strength. So with the water, they could have Leo in their chart. They don't have to. They're a very strong person, very courageous. I feel like they take risks and they go after their dreams. So this person I'm getting already that they're an adventurer. They like to travel. Um, they didn't used to be that way, but they're all about traveling now, having strength, facing their fears, going after their dreams. They're really big into that as well. But they dare to do things differently. That's what I keep hearing. What is their animal spirit? Be, bring in a gentle touch. So they have the deer spirit. So this person is not, they have, I feel like already, they have like a feminine side to them. They have a balance of feminine and masculinity, which is probably why the polarity card is here. They are very driven and masculine in making decisions, but they're, when it comes to romance and love, they're pretty, I don't know if that's gonna be an attractive word, but delicate. They're pretty gentle when it comes to the people that they love. Uh, they're not as abrasive, abrasive or aggressive. Yeah, it's weird because like on this card, it's like you have the angel and then you have the lion. I feel like there's a balance to them. There's a balance of good feminine side and masculine. So this is this type of person will tell you how they feel. You won't have to question, how do you feel about me? They will be open and vulnerable in a sense of being able to share how they feel and their emotions. All right, let's see what else we got here. King of Cups, yeah, they're pretty emotional. They could be a parent, they don't have to be. Um, but it says fascination here too. We have a scorpion here, so they could be a Scorpio. They don't have to be. Especially with the water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So they're very in tune with their emotions. So we know that water signs do represent emotions and feelings. So they are in tune with their emotions, which I'm not surprised at because of the water sign. Um, now, as far as their ambition goes, I feel like they are very ambitious about doing things differently. That's why I said dare to do things differently. Uh, they don't really live life according to traditional standards. Now, again, with the King of Cups here, they are very emotional. They're very loving. They do want children. They're very romantic and in tune with their emotions. All right, the Four of Wands, unity. So yeah, the Four of Wands is all about marriage. So this person uh, does love to celebrate things such as, as you see Halloween here, um, they are about some sort of tradition as far as marriage is concerned. They do want marriage with the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is known to be the marriage card. They do want that. They do want to come together. They do care about unity. They do want a family. So these two cards, I feel like, are probably the most emotional cards you can get when it comes to someone who wants to settle down, get married, and have children. Right now, they're kind of like, or they're used to living their life on the edge, just traveling, not worrying about that. But it's almost like this person wants someone to do these things with. The habit, dependency. So we have Capricorn energy, the devil card. So they could have Capricorn in their chart. Now, as far as the habit is concerned, I feel like their past relationships may not have worked because of dependency. So they've spent some more alone time reinventing themselves. Again, if this is someone that you guys were with, which I do feel like this is someone that you guys were currently with, not saying that you have to marry them, um, but I feel like there has been the marriage talk with this person. So there could have been some past energy as far as you guys being in a relationship, some codependent dependency. Um, that kind of push and pull the relationship or in the past life since you guys do have a past life connection or soulmate connection something that this person might might struggle with is dependency so and it's not dependency financially as much as I see love just feeling like they need you feeling like they need you for love again they're very emotional very in tune with their emotions and uh, very confident in the way that they feel about other people and the things that they do this person is very mysterious Queen of Wands, yeah, so they have a lot. Again, here's feminine energy. So as far as the feminine goes, they are passionate about a lot of the things that they do do. And they see life from a perspective of the Queen of Wands, which is someone who is passionate. But the Queen of Wands is also a multitasker. Um, they could already have children. 
also like a manager, keeps things in order, very passionate about making sure that things are ran appropriately. Knight of Cups, this person's very emotional. We have so much cup, so many cup cards, and it's crazy because I spun the wheel, and now we have so many cup cards, cup cards, cup cards, and um, well, we only have two cup cards, but the energy is like over, overwhelming with emotion. So the Knight of Cups is someone who's uh, hopeless romantic. They're very dreamy. It's almost like this person doesn't really embody an adult energy. It's more of like an a young adult energy, like traveling the world, doing these things. I want to get married, have children soon, uh, but right now I'm just kind of going with the flow, recreating myself, and I would really love to share this with somebody. So the Nine of Cups is someone who wears their heart on their sleeve, very emotional. This person is looking at the cup. They're ready to give their cup to someone. They're ready to give an offering to this person. This person is also very loyal and all about, they will be all about you. Very passionate and all about you. Even with the Queen of Wands here, if you're the Queen of Wands, this is them just waiting to give you their cup. Two of Wands. So yeah, this is again them traveling, um, having multiple decisions when it comes to, uh, again, I feel like mysteriously they're indecisive. I don't see them as being a mature, okay, they're mature, but this is not somebody who has already bought a home, has a car, and has everything, and they're ready for marriage. It's going to take time to kind of build that with this person, is what I'm getting with the Two of Wands. So they just don't really have like a grown spirit when it comes to their energy. But again, they're very ambitious, so they will go after what it is that they want. All right, we have the King of Wands. We have the King and the Queen of Wands. I feel like you guys are definitely soulmates. We have counterpart energy. And again, I don't, I kind of just shuffled through this. There's so many decks. So the fact that these are all falling together is just like crazy to me. Uh, but the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, you guys are going to be very passionate about each other. This is something that you're going to feel so free, happy, spontaneous is what I see. You guys traveling together. Um, you guys might even live on a beach together. Like this person is just, we have wa a lot of water energy again. So you guys might live by the water or by the beach, but you guys just love to do things differently. This isn't going to be like a traditional type of marriage. It's going to be fun, spontaneous, and adventurous. But you guys are both passionate about each other. You're the queen and the king of wands. Together, you guys can really do anything you want. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, they do want marriage and children. The Ten of Pentacles is the ultimate foundation of a family. This is marriage. Um, they do want to settle down. They just want to make sure they're doing it with the right person. The Ten of Pentacles is also foundation, commitment, and financial security. I feel like when you guys come together is when you will be able to make that financial security come uh, together full force. Because even though this person is traveling, I, I'm still feeling like they're saving. So they're still saving. They just want to make sure they give their cup to the right person. Like this, this person is like, when I get married, that's the only time I want to be married. Like, I don't want to do this multiple times. So they're kind of like hoarding their cup for the right person. They're kind of saving this special cup for the right person, which obviously is you if you're marrying them. Queen of Pentacles. So yes, they do embody feminine energy. So we do have some money here. They are a manifester. They're able to manifest it if they want it. And we have two queens here. So again, feminine energy, a really good balance. And we have the Queen of Cups. Jeez. Wow, this is insanity. You guys, mm -mm. I need to be a part of these pick a card readings so I can figure out who the hell I'm marrying because this, this is some fire ass energy. All right, so again, we have some cup energy. We have some pentacle energy. We have some wands. This person has a pretty good sense of balance with everything actually uh their water they're very emotional now we have the queen and the king of cups so the king and the queen of cups i like to see as the perfect parents to adopt they just they have a great parenting structure together they work well together um you guys will definitely be in tune emotionally man this i'm getting chills just thinking about this uh commitment this energy um you guys will just be so close. Like, I just feel like you guys are so close. And if this is somebody that you guys know, 
like put your pride you guys both put your pride aside you guys have such a good connection like this soulmate connection is like best friends you guys can talk about anything laying up in night at in the nighttime just talking and having conversations under the stars and talking about things together and you guys have good conversation you're able to open up with each other emotionally you're just so passionate about each other with the king and the queen and the king and the queen of cups and wands like wow this is passion and emotion this person you'll know you'll know who this person is because you will not it's like this <sighs> let me take this in this person and you is like the person you want to die next to it's just that life partner of like divinely being put together and though there is some balances because you guys deal with polarity or will deal with polarity ups and downs but for the most part th it doesn't get any better than this like this is the relationship that you want it's founded you guys manifest you guys are grounded financially you both want the commitment the marriage i mean we have the four wands and the ten of pentacles I mean, they want marriage. You guys are passionate about each other. This is just the relationship that everybody should want. Um, so whoever this person is, let's look at the other two cards before I get excited. So we have the Knight of Swords. They will come forth and ask you to marry them. I don't feel like it's going to take long. If you guys haven't met this person yet or, or strongly feel like you haven't, it's only going to take a year before they propose. They're just going to know. They're going to take action and they're not going to hold out. They're going to be like, you're the one. If you guys haven't met this person, it's like you've known them your entire life like where did you come from did we grow up together and i didn't know it that's the type of connection that you guys will have in who you will marry um but again they're very ambitious so they're going to go after what it is that they want they're going to open up they're going to give you everything that you want financially emotionally and passionately and then we have the page of pinnacles so they are about manifestation and um we have a lot of pinnacle energy here we have a lot of wand energy it's like we have three of everything cups cups yeah we have three of everything three of wands two okay so yeah i feel like they're they're very passionate about starting new things they don't have a problem um manifesting they just have a different outlook on life they're a lot freer they're a more adventurous person but they will be financially abundant especially with you it's like the energy between you guys makes them want to be more ambitious and motivated to get whatever whatever they need to get uh, to make you happy so yeah this person is really cool all right let's look at the letters so let's look at two letters in their name it could be in any order so let's look for all right spirit for deck number two the people who have chosen this stone can you give me the two letters two letters in the first name of the person they will marry two letters I'm just gonna grab two here these two D and I all right and then two letters in the last name oh one just flew out a all right one more letter in the last name could be in any order for the person that chooses this stone l all right so there are your guys's letters again it doesn't have to be in that order so we have d and i are going to be in the first one of these or both of these will be in the first name of the person you marry and then we have l and a so again These two letters can be in the last name, one or both in the last name of the person you will marry. So if you guys chose deck number two, I cannot wait to see what you guys have to say about this person. If you haven't met them, they're pretty freaking amazing and you're gonna know it right away. They will feel like a best friend, a long lost best friend. Let's move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and who will you marry? I'm going to be taking a look at the zodiac sign and also what you're most attracted to. So let's look at that. And then last but not least, we will be going to the banana bag to pull two letters that are going to be in the first name, two letters that are going to be in the last name. So we'll look at that at the very end of your guys' reading for deck three. Let's start with the zodiac sign and who you guys will be marrying. So again, this could be in their sun, moon, or rising chart. So spirit for deck number three, which zodiac sign is going to be in the chart for the person they are marrying. Air sign, okay. So they're gonna be an air sign, that's good to know, or they'll have air in their chart. Let's look at what deck three will be attracted to when it comes to the person they're gonna marry. What will they be most attracted to? Their heart, perfect, okay. 
So let's look at this person's energy for you guys, deck number three. All right, let's see what we have out first. Freedom. Look inside yourself, close your eyes, and secret admirer. So secret admirer could be someone that you guys already know or someone that's around you who has yet to tell you how they feel. Look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way, and then close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joy. Allow joy in regardless of circumstances you currently find yourself in. So this already tells me that this person is going to come across as being too good to be true. Um, and I only say that because some of the, this is your energy. Let's look more into it. Freedom, live free and wild, choose your freedom, claim your independence. This person is gonna be about freedom. This person is gonna be about independence and living wild and living free. Let's see what else. Goddess. So they could have a very intricate feminine side to them, which is not bad, even if you're asking about a male. Again, remember that spirit has no gender. It could be a male or a female. With the goddess also, I feel like this is how they're gonna view you. This is great energy. Um, so yeah, this is about inner beauty. So they'll be very attractive in the inside and probably the outside. Receive, be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy, a gift is coming to you soon. So yeah, for some of you guys, I feel like you guys are manifesting this person already. Um, and look at these colors, like there's a lot of purple and pinks. So this could also be vital to the person that you guys are gonna marry. Uh, but with this receive card, I want you guys to understand that this person that's coming in, they will feel as if they're too good to be true, but that's because you might push them away based on how you feel. So they're ready to give, they're a giver. They want to please you, they want to give to you, whoever this person is that, that you're gonna marry. Judgment, I look back with compassion for myself. This person has went through a spiritual awakening. The judgment card is about spiritual awakening. Um, they do have a lot of compassion. They are brand new. So when you meet them, they will be brand new and they will have a different sense or outlook on life. 10 of wands, yeah, they've been through a lot. They love and they care for themselves. So they've learned self-love. They've learned to take care of themselves. They're also very confident is what I'm getting. Get very confident, but very compassionate and they know who they are. They went through the spiritual transformation. And uh, again, they've been through a lot, but now they're more wild and free the way that they decide to live their life. And the air sign, I'm not surprised that the air is, is coming up as well because I feel like this is someone who has mentally went through a lot and they have a good heart because of it. So I'm not surprised compassion is here and love is here. Let's see what else. Third chakra, Archangel Camiel. Okay, so with the third chakra, I feel like they are very communicative about how they feel. I think that that's also where the feminine energy comes into play with the third chakra. And yeah, we have the first chakra, Archangel Michael. So this is also about romance, but for the most part, though, this person is working on being more connected to higher consciousness or on their path to being connected to higher consciousness. They're very vocal about what it is that they do. Again, they could be an advocate. They could be someone who stands up for something that's right. We're gonna look more into this. All right, let's see what they're... The rabbit, now is a lucky time. So yeah, they do have hopeful energy, but spiritually, they're currently going through grounding themselves. Let's look more into this one. The one of swords, yeah, intellect. So the first sword out. So Ace of Swords, they do have a unique perspective on life and how they see life. They do want to be a little bit more wild and free. And I also feel like they're working, they could be a healer or working on chakras or be in tune with their chakras. They could be a teacher of chakras. They could be a yoga instructor, anything to do with higher consciousness or connection to consciousness in any way this person can be. Also, they're very intellectual. Like I said earlier with the mind, they're very compassionate, but very smart. As far as the rabbit spirit goes, I do feel as though it's also just freeing, freely spirited. Most, when you see rabbits, like I feel like they're wild. Jack rabbits for the most part. They're wild, they're free. Um, they don't really care about what people think of them. 
and they do have a heart of gold. People mis misjudge them as well. The emperor. So this person is in control. Uh, they could have Aries in their chart. They do not have to. But the emperor is someone who makes well decisions and is a leader as well. Very dominant, driven, very wild. So this person likes nature. Uh, they might even like things like hunting for a few of these people. Hunting, being in the wild, um, doing things that people wouldn't normally do. They're really in tune with nature and they enjoy being out in the outdoors. Eight of Pentacles, so they're very skillful at what they do. The Eight of Pentacles is about skill set. So whatever they do, they're very skillful at it. Um, they have worked very hard to build a foundation for themselves. And they are also, let's see. Yeah, they just have been through a lot. I feel like this person that you guys are marrying, they do have a really big heart. And it's because of the things that they've went through. The Knight of Wands and is about the wounded warrior. So they've been through a lot. They're soldier, they're emperor now, but they've went through a, a period of time where they were not that way. Um, so they do make empowered decisions. They are a leader. They do have a vision. Um, they could be a parent. They don't have to be. What the emperor is known as the father card. So they have a good sense of discipline and balance. They are all... They are most of the time in tune with nature and their chakras, or they could be a healer. Yeah, they could definitely be a healer or do healing work or anything that has to do with consciousness, with the freedom and the goddess. The Knight of Wands, they've been through a lot and uh, whatever they're doing now, they spend a lot of time doing it. The Empress, so yeah, they want children. We have the Emperor and the Empress. They want children. They're very, they love to be very intimate. They're Again, they're very wild. They love, the emperor and the empress are two people who, again, it's a father and a mother. So the empress is usually very fertile. The father, they have good sexual chemistry. So whoever this person is, you guys will have, have great sex. And I also feel as though you guys will be great parents together. This person is also very mysterious with the air sign. Ten of Wands, so they're very passionate. Again, they've been through a lot. Um, and I also feel like they're looked upon as the strong one in their family. Six of Pentacles, yeah, you guys could have, again, this is children, a family, they want a family. The Moon card, again, could be a Scorpio, doesn't have to be. But the Moon card also, tells me that they are very mysterious. They're different. This person is not gonna be a typical person that you would go for. They are spiritually connected. They have a lot of abundance, a lot of luck with the rabbit spirit. They, The rabbit is known as luck, good luck. And I do feel like this person could have good fortune, but I just don't think that they care about money that way. They're more in tune with time and nature than money very mysterious very different has a very interesting perspective on the world wants children or you have children with them or they already have children they're a leader they make decisions they're pretty structured they're good at what they do and they've been through a lot nine of swords yeah they've been through a lot and i feel like that's what's created them so i do feel like whoever this person is even if you do know of them they I don't know if they are already aware of this. They do have a spiritual gift of healing. Yeah, all this that they've been through. All right, let's see, what's this last one? Ten of Pentacles, so yeah, they're financially stable and set. They do want commitment, they do want children, they're financially grounded, set. They are mysterious and it, very intriguing, very different. They have different energy. We both, we have the 10 of wands here. They're, they have great energy, very strong energy, but they've been through a lot and they have so much love and compassion for the people that they really love, including their family. And so they just choose to live life completely differently. So they are a lot more freer. They are, they are an individual who believes in good fortune, good spirits. Um, they might have sage, they might be into some of the things that you're into spiritually, uh, but for the most part, I feel like as a secret admirer, this isn't someone that you're gonna right away just know, like, 
that's the person I want to marry. It's just going to kind of grow on you. This person is going to grow on you because they're also very charming. Um, I don't feel like, I do feel like they're strong. I do see like a sense of strong masculinity, but their spirit is what's so masculine about them and what they do for work. I also am getting that they could be a firefighter or they could be, they could do something that's a little bit more wild and freely. So they could be into that. Uh, they can also, I just don't feel like this person is a very structured corporate person. They, they uh, deal with the heart and they deal with compassion and they have a very interesting purpose in the world as far as their heart is concerned. And the moon, again, I feel like they are very mysterious. So there will be some things that you will have to unravel with this person, but they have a great heart. And I think that that's what you guys are going to be most attracted to and their perspective and their intellect on the world. Now, as far as the third and the first chakra is concerned, they're still going to be very vocal. They are very communicative. They love to have dinner and conversation. Um, this person might also love to cook. And I just feel like they're such a giver. Like they just want to give to you. And I feel like it's going to come across as like, why do I deserve someone who can give me so much? Now, for some of you, you're like, of course I deserve that. But I feel like this person is to another magnitude of compassion that you have yet to experience. And that's where the love is going to come into play. Again, they do want a foundation with the Ten of Pentacles. This is the marriage card. This is the ultimate commitment. So they do want commitment. This person is not someone who dates because they're very misunderstood. They don't really do much dating. And they're working most of the time. Whatever they do, it's with their hands, labor-wise. They do a lot of labor. Um, but even if they're like a healer, something with their hands, they, they do something with their hands that is very important. Now, with the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Wands, they're, they've been through a lot. They are a warrior. This is just someone like, the, the energy of this person is like Tarzan. Like that's how I'm, how I'm perceiving this person. They just love to be in the water or outdoors. Okay, so now that we have the reading, let's go to the banana bag and see which two letters are in the first name of the person that you will marry. So spirit, please give me two letters for the person that picks this stone is gonna marry. For the people that chose this stone, give me the two letters, two letters in the first name that they will marry. Two letters in the first name. Y and A. So these will be in the first names. The first name of who you will marry. Now the last name. Give us two letters for the last name of the person they will marry. Two letters for the people who have chosen this stone for who they will marry. All right, let's just go with these. L and A. All right, guys. So... With the first letters or the two letters in the first name of the person you're going to marry, remember it could be one or both of these letters, doesn't have to be in any order, in the first name that you guys will marry. And for the last name, we have L and A for the person that you will marry. Again, it could be one or both in the last name of the person that you will marry. For the most part, deck number three, this person is a very mysterious person, but they're very outgoing, very free, very loving. They want commitment. They want children. They're often misunderstood. They've been through a lot, but they have a heart of gold. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you guys think about the person that you are going to marry. All right, let's move on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and who you will marry. So let's first take a look at the zodiac sign and what you will be attracted to. And then after your reading, we will go to the banana bag to see which two letters are in the first name and which two letters are in the last name of the person that you're going to marry. All right, so let's see, Spirit, what zodiac sign? And again, guys, we have the sun sign, the rising sign, and the moon sign. So we're going to be looking at a dominant zodiac sign in the person that you will marry. So for group number four, Spirit, which zodiac sign will they marry? Earth. All right. And what will group number four be most attracted to when it comes to the person they will marry? 
body. All right. They could have earth in their chart, sun, moon, or rising. And you guys will be most attracted to the way that they look, their physical appearance. All right. So let's see what we got here. I'm super excited for this. Romance. You guys will be very romantic about each other. Could be a new person coming in. Twin flames. Your passion ignites. So you guys will have a lot of passion. You guys could be twin flames. You could probably already know this person if you're a twin flame or you have yet to meet your twin flame. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So you guys have a very or will have a very alluring and magnetic connection. I already feel that, especially with the romance. So it's almost like with you guys, this person is going to feel like you guys are just falling in love over and over again. All right, let's see what we got. Leadership. So they're going to be a leader. Whoever you're going to marry is going to be a leader. They're not going to be a follower. Uh, they're going to be in a leadership role. They're also going to be inspiring and empowering other people. So that's interesting because with the leadership card, it also tells me that they are pretty dominant when it comes to their personality. They don't have to be a man or, or a woman, but they do have a dominant approach when it comes to inspiring and empowering others and the leadership role. Patience. So you could have yet to meet this person or you have met this person and you guys are trying to come to a place of where you guys can be in union. Again, if you guys are twin flames, then that means that you guys are not yet in reunion or you have already met your twin flame. So this is gonna require patience to rekindle what it is that you guys have or patience for this person to come in. Intuition. So this person could have a spiritual gift, uh, could have psychic abilities, could be a tarot reader, could be a Reiki healer, or into um, things that have to do with divination. So with divination tools, it could be anything such as incense, candles, sage, anything that you see on this desk pretty much, this person could be into. But it's about intuition, so this is also about psychic abilities, tuning in with higher self, having a good sense of connection with source and God. The devil. All right, so you guys could, since it's an earth sign, it could definitely be a Capricorn with the devil and the earth here. So also this person is very free. Uh, I am free to do whatever I want, but I am free of whatever is holding me back. This person is very strong intellectually and mentally. Again, they could be a Capricorn with the earth sign here and the body, they could definitely be a Capricorn. All right, the tower card. So I surrender and know how to go forward. So this person has also been through a lot. I feel like whatever they've been through now they've become to they've come to a place of inspiring and empowering others so it is this tower moment that they went through that they are now helping and inspiring other people um, and again they're also very intuitive king of cups very compassionate wanted children uh for some for the most part we've had the parent card so i feel like people I do feel like this person wants to have children or be a father figure or a mother figure in a sense. They're also very well grounded with their emotions. You won't have to pry out how they feel about you. They will just open up to you and be very emotional about how they feel about you. The King of Cups is someone who is also a leader. So they could work around children, young adults, or be a mentor or an educator of some sort. And they also are very independent. I am my own anchor. So they find um, a balance in emotions. They, they're able to give to you, but they still love themselves. Door to spirit. So yeah, they're very in tune with spirit, very spiritually connected, very spiritually grounded. And I feel like you guys do have, for the most of you guys, you will have a twin flame connection. So there is passion, but with the door to spirit and the bird on this card, they are very in tune and very passionate about freedom, being free mentally, physically, uh, spiritually, and the door to spirit. So they're very open spiritually and they have, they have a very magnetic spirit too. So it's very overwhelming. People recognize them for who they are. Goddess of the moon. Yeah, they're very... They're very powerful and they know that. This person is very gifted 
and very influential. Whoever it is that you're marrying. Let's see a little bit more about them. Eagle, yeah. They have a good masculine side to them, but they are very romantic and open about being loving. They have a good balance with love, emotion, spirit, and they're an earth sign, so I'm pretty sure the pinnacle energy will come up as well. But with the eagle spirit, this tells me that they're very wise. They're very wise. Even if they're younger, they're very wise for their age and very influential and impactful and powerful. The justice. So they could be in the justice system. They don't have to. They could have Libra in their chart. But they all are about equality, unity, coming together, and creating a justice law or justice system. So they believe that everyone is one. Again, they're very spiritual, so they believe all is one. We are all connected. And uh, this person is, yeah, this person isn't judgmental. They're very open-minded. Yeah, they're also up for new things. They do like to travel, page of wands. They like to take adventure. Uh, they like new things, new beginnings, spark and passion, things that excite them. Like if it doesn't excite them, they won't do it. And I feel like with this person, they're just very strong willed, uh, very alpha, unless they're in love with the King of Cups here. King of Pentacles, yeah, they're very loyal, very commitment, committed, wants to be with one person and one person only. Like I said, the Pentacles energy, I'm not surprised. Uh, they're very wealthy or they're on their way to wealth. The King of Pentacles is, is very stable when it comes to financially, but also very stable when it comes to foundation. Remember, we're talking about an earth sign here. Earth is about grounded, being grounded, and also having a logical perspective. So they do believe they're very spiritually grounded, but they're also like practical when it comes to making money, going after their dreams. They could be a CEO, they could be an entrepreneur, um, or they have a business around their intuition or their gifts of inspiring and in empowering people in leadership. They don't have to be an entrepreneur, but whatever they are, they work for themselves in their mind. Like they, they are their own boss. So yeah, King of Pentacles, they're gonna be very wealthy. That's not something that you have to worry about. Very stable, very grounded. Um, money, they attract money easily. Let's see what else is going on. Two of Swords. So they do have multiple decisions. I feel like this person has a lot of ideas and wants to manifest a lot of things. Um, most of the time, I feel like this person lives in their dream, lives in their spirit. So they're all about manifesting. This person that you're gonna marry is about taking ideas and manifesting them into the practical earth, tangible. And so with the Two of Swords, that's something that they are really passionate about doing is bringing all their ideas and all of their gifts to manifesting. They're very, sometimes they could be very hard on themselves as far as getting these things out. Um, but for the most part, a lot of people look up to them. And so there is a lot of pressure there with the leadership. The High Priestess, again, they're very intuitive. You know that the Eagle Spirit is also very intuitive. I'm gonna put that here. Um, the Eagle watches. Like if you've ever looked into the eagle, they will see their prey and wait before they attack. They're just very wise. They don't, they, they're very wise for their age and they have a very old spirit when it comes to just knowledge. The high priestess, again, psychic abilities, very in tune with spirituality, manifesting things is also reminds me of the magician. We have the moon card, the moon in the back. We have the moon here. Um, they could have Scorpio on their chart. They don't have to. I'm just saying that because of the moon card, but they are very connected to the cycles. Moons are also about the cycles, um, cycles in their life, breaking the cycles and being different. I feel like they are probably somebody in their family who does things differently or doesn't follow other people. And so they have an interesting way of creating a reality for themselves that's outside of what other people are doing. Eight of Pentacles, they're very skillful. They have a lot of skills, a lot of talents, very gifted individual. Queen of Cups, very emotional. Don't we have the Queen King here? Yeah, we have the King of Cups. So this is somebody that, again, we have this, the Queen and the King of Cups. This is a family 
but this is also this is a family but this is also two people who are madly in love with each other it's a lot of love for each other these are also counterpart energies with the king and the queen here um, it's telling me that you guys could be a family or have a family together but you guys are very emotionally invested in each other you love each other especially if this is someone that you guys have met you guys can try to run from this person but i do feel like this is probably your twin flame if you guys feel this way about each other emotionally so with the king and queen of cups you guys are going to be very emotionally attached to each other you guys are going to have so much love for each other again these are counterparts so the king and the queen they both feel emotionally invested both of you guys know how each other feels and it's just a it's a lot of love that you guys will have justice we have the justice card here twice i feel like this is the person that okay for some of you guys if you guys are questioning this person I absolutely feel like this person is the one for you and it's the justice that you've been waiting for. So if you guys are waiting for something to happen that you feel like you are very well deserving of, I really feel like this person is going to be that person in bringing justice and giving, basically making up for all the things that you feel like you deserved or making up for all the relationships that you've been through. Like this is the one, this is your person. So for some of you guys, this is the prayer that you guys have been wanting an answer to this person you guys are both manifesting each other if you haven't met this person you guys are manifesting each other if you have you've manifested each other this is the person for you and this is where you will get justice so if you have a question about is this as good as it gets or is this the best I can get remember everyone has flaws but this is your person like I'm very sure that this is your person um, let's see so we have the nine of we have the nine of pinnacles here so this person is about the finer things of life they are about abundance they don't have a problem attracting abundance um they do like to eat at fancy restaurants every now and again they do like finer things they might want multiple houses they might want a beach house a condo in manhattan um a house in another state uh houston dallas you know another country australia new zealand i'm just putting some things out there into manifesting our um, just putting some things out there to manifest as well. But for the Nine of Pentacles, they do not have a problem with attracting money. So they probably do have their dream car or their dream house in mind, but they do enjoy the finer things of life, luxury and abundance. Eight of Cups, again, since the cards don't lie. Eight of Cups, you guys could have already walked away from this person. They are probably your twin flame. Twin flame relationships are not fairy tale relationships. They have their ups and they have their downs. Sometimes it's perceived as toxic relationships. And I do feel like twin flames can come into union when the right time comes. Eight of Cups, some of you guys walked away from this person or they walked away from you. You guys will probably be in reunion and come together. Now, for some of you who are not, they're leaving their person currently. And uh, that's probably why you're manifesting them. Strength. So you could be a Leo, they could be a Leo. That could be in their chart. So we have some fire energy here. They're very strong willed, determined. They have courage, they fight their, they face their fears, they fight their battles head on. They're not afraid of anything. Very, very powerful. I cannot, I cannot stress that enough. This person could also be in the limelight. For a few of you guys, could also be famous. Um, a lot of people know of them their energy a lot of people know what it is that they've done their gifts four of pinnacles they're very stable or they admire to be very stable they have everything they need They're this person is literally in a palace with a robe on they will be successful and abundant in what they do and stable and knight of wands very passionate about the you very passionate about the work that they do and the their purpose i feel like this person is inclined with understanding what their purpose is so this person overall is pretty well grounded we have a lot of pinnacle energy because yes it is an earth sign they could have earth in their chart we do have capricorn energy here we have libra energy so they could have that in their chart we have leo energy any of this energy that i just named could be you or the person again you guys are twin flames so you reflect each other so if i'm talking about you i'm talking about your twin flame because you guys are one all right, let's go to the banana bag and look at which two letters are in their first name. All right, banana bag here again. So spirit, 
for this stone and deck number four, give me two letters that are in the first name of the person that this person is going to marry. Just two letters. Thank you. S or E. All right, one, one or if not both will be in the first name of the person you're marrying. Now let's look at the last name. All right, Spirit, give us two letters that are in the last name for deck four and the people who have chosen deck four, the person that they're gonna marry. Give me two letters in the last name of the person deck four is gonna marry. All right. F and A. All right, so these will be the two letters, if not both, one in the last name and the two letters of the first name, if not one, but both in the first name of the person you will marry. All right, overall deck four, you guys are gonna marry someone with Earth in their chart. That's Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. We also have some zodiac signs that I mentioned earlier, but you will be attracted to this person physically and their body. Though I don't really have much to say about their physical attraction or their body, I do feel like their spirit, their energy, and everything uh, kind of has manifested who they are. So physically, I do feel like you guys will be attracted to this person. As far as I'm concerned, there's so many great things to this person that I don't feel like it's gonna be one thing that really allures you. You might see them and be interested in them based on their physical appearance and then learn all of the other things about them. So also remember that energy plays a big role in physical manifestation. So they are going to be very beautiful and alluring because look at all this energy. They are masterminds. They are here to influence, empower, and inspire the people. They're very abundant in doing so, very courageous. They're very loving and open, and I do believe that this is your twin flame, and if not your twin flame, you're definitely manifesting a twin flame. So for deck number four, this is your reading and who you will marry. Don't forget to comment down below if you guys chose deck number four. I'm interested in hearing what you guys have to say. Is this your twin flame? Have you guys already met them? And also, what do you think about this person? I can't wait to see what you guys have to say about deck number four. Thank you guys for tuning in to this Pick a Card reading and who you will marry. Stay tuned for future Pick a Card readings. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below.